Hey, what's up, YouTube? So last week, someone left a comment on one of my videos and it was saying, how do I get MP Vacious with installed with other languages and how do I use them with that? Last week, I didn't know, but I looked into some solutions. So here's my best possible solution for that. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. Una droga que activa tu secreción de feromonas al extremo. Digamos que es una poción de amor. So as you might have seen, it's not as click and play as Empivacious with Yomi Chan, but it gets the job done if you want to use this with other languages. This dictionary seems to support many other languages, so you'll have to play around with it a little bit. I only did Spanish because Spanish is probably going to be one of the next languages that I learn. And so with that, let's go ahead and commence into the video on the tutorial. Alrighty, so as always, you're going to want to open up a Google Chrome browser. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. The, however, the first thing that you want to do is make sure you have MPVacious installed. And so I have a couple tutorials on how to do that. I would go check out debugging MPVacious first to do it that way. And then go ahead and do your configurations by watching this next video. I'll have the links down below in the description for those. And with that, let's go ahead and jump on into the current videos topic. So in order to get MPVacious working with um, Anki basically for content that you want to have on MPV, you need to have a one, a page that can read your copied text from the MPV and from the MPVacious script and then a dictionary in order to do that. Yomi-chan unfortunately doesn't allow you to have other dictionaries installed into it. So I found this brilliant GitHub page. Um, of a different extension that kind of works um, like Yomichan, it's great but there are some bugs on there so it's not gonna be 100% perfect however with all that out of the way go ahead and jump into this github page um, I'll have the link down below in the description for that what you're gonna want to do is go down to well first it's called dictionaries what you're gonna want to go down to is install it on whatever browser you're using I'm using Google Chrome so Let's go ahead and open the link in the in a new tab. And what you're going to do is add to Google Chrome. And that's going to give you um, this dictionaries right here. Dictionaries want to rule them all. That's kind of what it says. And so <clears throat> with that in there, what you want to do is go into the options. And you'll see all of the different options here. Um, whatever language you're interested in um, it looking up, go ahead and just check it. So you can uncheck all these. In my case, I did Spanish, but whatever you want to do, you can just have that there. I haven't played around completely with this. I'm going to let you guys do that, um, but I'll kind of get you started. Um, I use Google Dictionary because that's I like Google. And so that's kind of what you need to get your um, feet wet with this. And um, that's basically the add on. Ah, and I almost forgot one thing. What you're going to want to do is scroll all the way up to the top. There's a yellow button up here and go support the creator of this. It's a great software and it takes a lot of time to do programming. So as someone who knows how difficult it is to do programming stuff, go ahead and support the creator. It allows for better content and he only needs to reach $500. So go ahead, buy him a cup of coffee. I think it's going to be helpful. And so we'll move on to the next after you do that. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to do is jump over to Matt versus Japan's video on MPVacious um, or MPV and what we're going to use from his video is his text hooker HTML page and you can watch this video I think I linked everyone to it on how to install MPV and so if you go down in the description there's going to be a link to text hooker go ahead and open it in a new page and this is what you're going to basically use for hooking the text out of MPV and copying it and being able to paste and read it. Um, so all you need is this, is this page one security risk someone said in the comments was um, he's hosting it so if you want to save it on your computer you can go ahead and do that here's a quick way in how you do that just so you don't have to go to his website every single time or his youtube video what you want to do is go ahead go to save as and that's going to bring you to a um or your file explorer go ahead 
and just save it as whatever. I just left it as text hooker. And then, yes. And now, you can open it, and it's going to have basically just your um, file extension here. And so the next thing that you want to do is go back to the video, and you want to download Clipboard Inserter. So if you have Firefox, it's links down here. If you have Chrome, go ahead and click the Chrome link, and you want to install the um, Clipboard Inserter right here by clicking Add On. And so it's going to do all the installation, and once you're done, you should end up with something <clears throat> that says Clipboard Inserter here. And so once you're in Text Hooker, um, it'll basically hook any text that you copy and paste it onto there. Say, for example, um, if I want to, oops, hold on. Now that you're on Text Hooker, what you want to do is go ahead, go to Clipboard Inserter. You want to give it access, click it, and then it should, if I do a copy, let's see if it does something else. There you go. It'll copy and paste onto the page right here. And so if you go ahead and go to this one, you can see that there is nothing in here. This is the text hooker hosted by Matt vs. Japan, and this is the text hooker from a the one on host in your computer. If you want Chrome extensions to be able to access your computer, what you're gonna want to do is go ahead, go to extensions, go to the clipboard inserter, go to options and scroll down to allow access to file URLs. That basically gives access to the Chrome extensions to access your files. And so once you have that, what you're gonna wanna do is um, restart everything, go ahead, close out all your Chrome browsers, and it'll work just as normal. I'm not gonna do that because I have all my tabs open already, and just trust me, it will work once you have that done. Okay, so now that you have everything installed, you have MPVacious, you have MPV, you have dictionaries, etc, etc. How do you use dictionaries, uh, the, the application that we just installed for Google Chrome? What you can do, if you have Yomi-chan, I'd recommend turning it off because it's going to take precedence over the dictionaries one. But if you go into dictionaries, the app, the way you can do that is if you go to click it, go to options here. Um, it, it is a little bit glitchy. Uh, I think that's just a GUI type of thing or GUI user interface type of thing UI You want to scroll To settings and what I have it as is set up like Yomi-chan Automatically select the word underneath when moving mouse you need to hold the shift key and so what that enables me to do is Just like Yomi-chan I hold the shift key and it's gonna search, it's gonna search the word, and then it's gonna pop up if it can find the word. And so their dictionaries isn't perfect. Sometimes it won't find a word and it won't query the word. Um, for example, digamos here. I don't know what that means, um, but potion, potion will come up, for example. Um, and a more should also come up in Spanish. Yes, yeah, love. And so it's not 100% perfect. There are bugs here and there. Um, so those words you might have to go maybe have Google Chrome, open, um, Google Dictionary open up at the same time uh, to find those words. But it should work generally the same. Uh, other words, for example, will pop up and then you can just incorporate into your workflow. Okay, so now that's cool. Um, now I'm going to show you how to actually incorporate it into your Anki workflow. The easiest solution that I found, have MPVacious in one side of the window, have text hooker in the other, have an add card on the bottom right, and have your browser open on the bottom left. If you know how MPVacious works, it'll pull up your browser, and that's why we need that browser on the bottom left. So, if you come across a sentence in your language or your content that you can't, um, understand or you want to look at the word for example this sentence right here um, let's just say that it appeared here and I stopped it so in your in your copy you're already gonna have the sentence so what I like to do first <clears throat> is go down to my sentence uh, field in Anki oh first here let me show you how to get this all open up in Anki let's go ahead so go ahead and click add here go ahead um, lowercase out of that and then go to browse 
and then just open up your ad again. So now we're here. Since you already have the sentence copied inside of your clipboard, just go ahead, copy it down. And if you have the add-on for Japanese, it would automatically make it into hiragana down here. But since it's Spanish, it doesn't really matter. What I like to do next is copy the word, then make it bold, make it bold, and then copy and paste into vocab. So now I have three fields filled out. I will now go into my Google Chrome, click into it, and you want to hover over the word potion. And I'll highlight this, copy, paste it into my filler spot. Um, the reason I have a filler spot, uh, you might have come across in one of my previous videos. It's just for sorting things. So my filler spot, then I'm going to go down to vocab definition and it's going to have the vocab definition and then go ahead, click add. Then you want to go into MPV. You want to do the regular way that you incorporate or that you transport over with MPVacious by click, excuse me, clicking C and M. That's going to show it in your browser window and you're basically done with the flashcard. So your preview, it'll have the sentence, it'll have the word highlighted. And then when you go next, it'll have, it'll have the audio, it'll have the word and it'll have the definition for it. And so that's it. That's basically how I like to incorporate it. Um, so if you come across a word, if that you don't, that it won't pop up with the dictionaries, what you have to do instead is do Google Translate. And so it takes a little bit more time, but 40 seconds to make a sentence, flashcard with audio, image, it's totally worth it in my, in my opinion. So let's go back to Digamos. It didn't appear when I highlighted it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, let's recreate this card digamos copy bold paste then it doesn't appear copy you what you want to do is highlight it copy it go to Google Translate have the language here paste it and then you can copy the um, the, the definition down into vocab definition and then have it in your filler spot there, or that's just why I have filler spot. Go ahead, add it. C M. That'll bring it into the page here, and you'll basically have the meaning for it. And so it's not as pretty because it's just the straight up definition of it, but that should also get the job done as well if you're trying to learn the words. And that's it. So Google Translate text hooker, all that fun stuff, and you'll be up and running making flashcards in less than a minute for any content that you might need. That's basically all you need to get done in order to incorporate this for other videos using MPVacious. And if anything in this video seemed new or unclear on how to actually get it installed, go ahead and watch the other videos that I told you at the beginning of the um, at the beginning of this video and I go through how to install MPVacious and how to get that all up and running on your device. So Thank you, Alexander, for that comment last week. It got me back looking into how to incorporate this for other languages, and hopefully this will help someone else out in their studies. And as always, good luck on your studies out there, and I'll see everyone later in the next YouTube video.